and that is how your credit score gets built and that's how they um, associate that you are a trusted borrower and that's how you keep getting those raise in the credit limits as well. Hi everyone, I'm Priya from It's OKR and welcome back to our channel. If you're new today, It's OKR is a content platform for South Asian immigrants and we aim to educate, entertain and empower them. Today's topic is 7 ways to build credit if you are a new immigrant in the US. So if you're new in the US, you're definitely trying to understand if I can transfer my credit history from back home or what do I do to credit credit card or have a good credit score. We are going to cover a lot of those topics today, so stay with us. But first things first, let's talk about the various different terms and understand what the credit score actually is. So let's understand what is a credit score. A credit score is a rating given to your financial background when assessed by a lender. Basically, the bank is trying to understand how much of a financial risk are you if they are loaning you money. So now let's first understand about credit building. Credit building is associated with a FICO score, which is FICO score. Basically, what it's trying to do is understand the reliability of you as a borrower to whoever is loaning you money. Now, what happens is if you've come here as a student, you might not have any credit history or you don't know how to transfer any of your credit history from back home. If you're a dependent, then you basically need an SSN to get a credit card and you cannot get an SSN as a dependent. So how do you proceed and how do you get your first credit card? But before we get into the details of what are the steps you can take, let's understand what are the factors that comprise a credit history or what are the five things that are most important for you to know. Number one is payment history. The number two is amount owed. Number three is credit history length. Number four is new credit. And number five is types of credit in use. So let's understand why credit history is even important or why we need a credit score. We come, come from India or back home, it's a debit based economy. Here it's a credit based economy. In India what happens is anything that you are basically getting as a salary from your company or any of your income, your mindset is to save. Here the way the economy is designed it is to make sure that all of the money that you are actually getting goes back into the economy and there is, that is why it is a credit based economy. So they want to make sure that you are um, following the rules and process by spending and then you are a reliable um, borrower if you are making those payments on time which is why the best way to build credit history is to have multiple cards. What that means is whoever is looking at your credit history is now trying to understand that Priya, for example, has three credit cards and she ensured that she made payments for all of those three credit cards. She is kind of using that money effectively. She's putting it back into the economy. She is uh, making those payments on time. And that is how your credit score gets built. And that's how they um, associate that you are a trusted borrower. And that's how you keep getting those raise in the credit limits as well. So now let's talk about the seven steps of building credit if you are new in the US. The number one is transferring your credit history from back home when you're moving here. There are companies like Nova Credit that completely offer this service for free. It's basically associated to your passport number and your ITIN number. So you can still have a credit history even before you get your SSN. So that's a great way to have a strong foundation and make sure that everything that you have built back home is still here and is not lost. And if you're looking to apply for an ITIN, we will attach a detailed guide in the description box. So go check that. Number two is opening a bank account. You can actually open your bank account here even if you don't get your SSN. It can be done through an ITIN number or showing your employer's proof and what you are making and stuff like that. Okay. However, make sure that you're opening both a checking account as well as a savings account. Try to maintain some sort of a healthy balance in the savings account so that you come across as a trusted borrower. And there are many banks that will let you open a, a bank account with them even without an SSN number. And these are big names like Bank of America, Citibank, Chase, Alliant. You can go to any of these banks. Outside of that, 
especially for immigrants there are neo banks or digital banks and they also make opening an account with them very very easy Number 3 is credit card. As soon as you get your ITIN number or SSN number, you have to make sure that you open your open and get your first credit card. There are many companies that offer like basic first level credit card to help you build a credit score. You have Chase Freedom, you have Discover Bank, you have Citi. So just go check it out, but do not delay getting a credit card. We know that back home in India, we are a very debit based economy. Things are changing now. However, the it is much beneficial for you to start having a credit card because you will start earning points and build that history here very very fast number 4 is getting a secured credit card it is uh, somewhere in between of a debit card and a credit card basically you are going to the bank giving them 500 dollars in advance and they are going to give you a credit card which has a 500 dollar credit limit make sure you are always making those payments on time and in a matter of six months if you have done all of that correctly then they will increase your credit limit so that's another way to do it if you're having trouble getting your first credit card number five is getting a store credit card so any of these big retailer chain a macy's a kohl's a target you can open your own credit card with them they will offer you points additional discounts and stuff like that the limit is generally not very large, but if you're going to make a big purchase, definitely recommend getting that 20-25% off. They're generally easily approved, but just make sure that you're making those payments on time because the interest, rate, interest rates are going to be very, very high. Number six is utility bills. So you must be paying for gas, electricity, heat, whatnot. Make sure that you're using your credit card to pay that. There is a possibility that if you're still not earning and your spouse is taking care of a lot of these expenses, make sure you have something joint or at least your name associated to one of these utility bills so that you are coming across as this trusted customer who is going to make the payments on time. The last one or number seven is grocery shopping and miscellaneous. Try to use your credit card every single place. Do not make any payments in cash. Credit cards offer great insurance, return back schemes and all of those other liabilities that are covered by just using a credit card. It's also fraud protected. So definitely make sure that you're not making payments, even the smaller ones using cash. Always use a credit card. That way, with every transaction that you are making, you are actually building your credits. To conclude, while a lot of this might seem a little basic to you, it's really important to get started as soon as you can to open that bank account and get your first credit card. Remember that a FICO score takes six months to build. So as soon as you start building it, you will have options to get a higher reward credit card and just getting a better credit card here opens a lot of opportunities for you in terms of protection as well as like better points and stuff like that so do not delay the process at all thank you so much for watching and i hope that helps build your credit score um, in the us if you are new please like share and subscribe to our channel if you've been someone who's been watching our content and like our content please share it with someone who will benefit from it please hit that like button so that our analytics improve. Thank you so much for sub supporting us. We also create a lot of content on Instagram, so definitely follow at It's OKR. If things are not looking up right now, remember It's OKR. Keep going. Thank you so much and see you next time.